Yo guys, what is going on? I'm putting up an overnight upload for you guys. It's not going to be that long of a video. Definitely not one of those 25 minute discussion videos. Um, we've been streaming like crazy recently, but I wanted to keep you guys updated just a few things with the account and then obviously a few things with the market because a lot of stuff happened today. I haven't been going crazy on the market today. Uh, nothing nuts. I want to give you guys the weekend league plans. Just a little bit of everything. Uh, if you guys enjoy the overnight upload, I know the people watch this video will be like, Nick never uploads at this time. Um, and then I also wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update on the second channel just because of the enhanced and, and the longer hours streaming this week because of the promo I haven't been able to upload a review since the three attackers man. It's just been really busy. So I apologize guys um, We're gonna try my best to get some of those out this weekend. I don't see myself stopping streaming because of these upgrade packs Guys, so today man, I gotta be honest with you. We are now in the last two days We have done at least 400 Premier League 25k upgrade packs and we've done at least 200 gold upgrade packs we have not packed a blue yet, and I'm telling you guys, 400 of those 25k packs, 200 of the gold upgrades. We have not hit a blue yet. We are still gonna keep going because I love these packs, and we're gonna just we're gonna just keep grinding. This is what the updated Premier League Cubs looks like. We did pack Salah today. We packed a duplicate Pogba. Uh, we packed Ronaldo today, but obviously, really crap when you look at it, right? Because you do want to get some better stuff, um, you know, than that. Now we also got three base icons done today. Um, via the recycling yesterday if you watched the video I told you guys we packed Alberto and we packed uh, Nistelroy that I discarded today uh, We had a center mid walkout France I thought it was gonna be Zidane, but we did pack baby Vieira. So that was okay And then we also packed Alan Shearer in the last one and we packed Stoichkov duplicate so I actually had to put Stoichkov back into the SBC if you guys weren't following we did pack Alberto yesterday So the way that I'm doing these guys and I just wanted to go over this with you guys real quick um, because I know a lot of people are asking me with these kind of with these things how to do it How I'm doing it and the best way to craft Really what it is and I talked about it last night But to give you guys a little bit of a clear thing before we talk about the market I'm buying basically Like 10 of each player. So I'm picking 11 players in the same league. I'm buying 10 of them each I'm putting them on my unassigned Right then I'm going into this pack I'm clicking use I'm clicking the use squad builder tab so you can make a squad Right, and then what I'm doing is I'm going gold and I'm going new because these are going to be the newest cards you submitted into your clubs And you guys want to be buying these players in each position So don't buy a right wing back guys buy a goalkeeper two center backs a right back a left back a left mid center mid center mid Right mid striker striker That's how you guys should do it And then what I'm doing from these is you get nine non rares and three rares I've been putting in my non rares into the gold upgrade getting the two player packs I'm using the rares to there but my chat started telling me to try this out because it's OP and we did get start getting some more boards So I've been putting them into the three players pack, which is just all non rares You get one rare so then you guys can recycle the rare Over here as you do these if you guys really want to it's, it's it depends on how you guys want to do it You could do that. You could do it that way guys also at this point in the video Let me know what you guys have packed if you guys have packed anything crazy put it in the comments down below Let me know if you guys have have hit anything crazy anything nuts like that. I'm definitely a little bit curious uh, to know if you guys are hitting anything. So where is the account now? Obviously, you guys see the big 30 mil up in the top corner um, Well 29 mil and uh, the market today was crazy because the team of the years got panic bought they went up They went down um, the morning was full of a lot of panic and then at nighttime. They just went up a ton I bought a Liverpool kits. I applied the kits as my home kit I also applied Liverpool badge to try to enhance my team of the year pack look and I was extremely unsuccessful it didn't happen. So I am not a fraudulent Spurs fan or Bayern fan. I just was trying to hire my pack look. Now, this is where we're at. We basically have some of the remaining kind of flips from today. Ericsson worked out really well as an investment. And if you guys had bought any of the team of the week for the investing, that worked out really well. We're doing really good. And I think I'm doing a really good job of offsetting because as I'm doing these packs, guys, if I'm doing 250, 250 of these packs a day, I mean, for 10 packs, it is, you know, after recycling, it's like 60K because you basically could get probably four more of the premiums out of the if you do six packs it's like 50k you can get four more so it's like 50 to 60k after recycling so i'm spending like i mean i'm going to be spending 500 to a mil a day on these packs but i'm doing a good job of trading my butt off special car fluctuations and icons just to kind of make sure that the coins are still coming in um and i know we had a rewards video this morning so i didn't really give you guys a full market update like on some of the team of the years and just just kind of hovering over them and talking about it and that's also because i haven't really like even done much with the team of the year so guys team of the years are gonna be in packs all the way until tuesday um and there's upgrade packs out so every single day that this this promo goes on everybody's gonna start to pack a few more of these cards untradeable and so it's gonna lo slowly loosen the demand on the market 
And then obviously as weekend league is ending, these cards are going to go down a bit. So I ended up selling Messi today for about 5.1. He got all the way down to 4.8. He's back up to 5.1. But what happened today, guys, was that people literally panic bought team of the years to insane extents. Like these guys got bought so hard for certain hours. I remember Delict was down to 800. Uh, and then I think he got all, the, he's down to like 850. And then I think he got all the way panic bought up to like 980. Um, he's back down again at about 900. So these guys have leveled down a little bit. I think the only really one today that's like was too cheap and is now really, really high uh, is Virgil van Dyke. And I know he got down to like 2.8, I think. And so now I think that, uh, well, I think it's looking like now that he's like chilling around 3.5. So 3.4, 3.2. Now he's back down again. He's down to 3.2 again. So the state of these cards and how they get panic bought and panic sold is really crazy. It's going to continue to happen throughout the weekend. Now that these cards are in packs until Tuesday, it does make it a little bit of a different scenario of like when to buy these cards and when they're going to be cheapest. I'm probably going to expect that these cards might be cheapest out of packs. So if you want these cards long term, I don't really think you have to buy them before the weekend ends. I don't really think it's one of those scenarios. If you want these cards short term, like you want to play with them maybe this weekend, Saturday, Sunday, there could be some heavy sell off. I don't think people are going to open packs on Monday, Tuesday. So the supply of those won't be crazy. And I also think people will try to buy them before they go to packs. What you guys have to understand about team of the years is it's not really like a team of the week where these cards are going to be like flying out of packs, in my opinion, especially in this market. Last year, some of them did because of the inflation. We don't have that this year. There was a lot of buying power today, but I just don't overall think, again, I said this is going to be the cheapest team of the year ever. It is looking to be that way. They hit some of the prices that I said they were going to today, and they will slowly start to move towards that probably as the weekend goes on. You'll probably see these team of the year stabilize a little bit tomorrow night um, just because the weekend league, that's always the first day of weekend league. So people are always kind of playing with the cards then. But uh, yeah, I, I, I would be really surprised if some of these cards held these crazy values that they're at. KDB, I don't see holding 2.9, even though his card is nuts. I just think some of these guys got to drop down a bit. Um, and, you know, Trent, was, Trent got all the way down to 900 today. He's back up to 1.2. Robbo got really low earlier. Um, De Jong even got low. But it's, it's a really good sign seeing De Jong at 1.8 and Conte at 2.3 already because this is Thursday night prices, right? These are the prices that people are trying to like build their weekend league squads and start to use these cards. So to see these guys down at these prices already, in my eyes, is a very good sign because I really do kind of make it, it, it seems to me that they're going to be affordable. We're also going to get the 12th man guy, uh, which I think is going to be Ronaldo tomorrow. Could be Lewa. If it's Ronaldo, you should not You should expect Mbappe. Um, you guys should expect that Mbappe is going to, personally, I would say that this card would probably drop a bit. I think if Ronaldo came out, even though Mbappe might be better still, you're probably going to lose a little bit of demand on this Mbappe. So, I mean, guys, look, I think with these cards, like, you really don't have to rush it. If you want to play Weekend League, maybe you look tomorrow morning or first lightning round because I think they're going to go up tomorrow night. And some of you guys want to play your Weekend Leagues tomorrow. Maybe if you want to save some coins, you don't try them out at Weekend League until Saturday or Sunday until you feel like they got really cheap because, as you guys know, every single goddamn thing on the market is always higher Thursday, Fridays, and Saturday, Sundays because people panic by uh, for Weekend Leagues. Now, the Icon Index is the highest it's been in a long time, probably two weeks, I would say. It's up at 61. It hasn't been that high since January 4th. No, it's about a week, about a week and a half. So it's rebounded really nicely. Uh, prices look very, very good at the moment. Cards are nice and high on the market, and that's definitely good to see. You guys should see this ride overnight pretty well. Uh, there shouldn't be any crazy panic selling into the morning. All we're getting tomorrow is a 12th man SBC. We're also going to get some other SBCs tomorrow. More players are going to be rolling in. And then I know a lot of people wanted me to talk about Bernardo Silva on the video real quick. Um... It's a good card, man. And and like it's got a really good card for this year's game. Three star weak foot is not ideal, but having 90 pace with 98 agility is very special, right? 98 agility is a very good stat to have. 96 balance as well, 99 stamina. So he's got some really good stats in terms of the agility and the balance on this card. The attack positioning is also very good. The acceleration is good. I think he's gonna be magical in this game. Uh he looks really good. I'm gonna get him done and probably try to get a player review out. Hopefully, maybe tomorrow night I could get that out. Um, I'm thinking. But you never really know. But hopefully I'm going to get a player review out tomorrow night on some of the SBC cards to come. Because it looks like the SBC cards are starting to get a little bit better. Um, and he does look good. I'll be completing him for sure. Whether I craft this or I just do it with my own coins. Uh, that I don't know yet. But we'll definitely be uh, we'll definitely be getting this guy into the club. Because the upgrade is huge, man. He's got a very big upgrade. This is a plus four uh, onto his gold card. Which is definitely one of those upgrades where when you start talking, when you get the plus threes that's when the cards become very noticeable. When you see those kind of plus three upgrades, you look at the cards and you're like, okay, that's a pretty big upgrade. So you probably will notice that this card will play better than his gold card a lot better. What I really like is that they gave him massive finishing, right? The finishing boost on this card is massive compared to the gold card. The agility and the balance are also equally pretty big. So that's where we're at right now. And then for me, like guys, 
Packs are out till Tuesday, so I'm going to be a madman with these uh, with these player packs, man. I'm going to be doing these. Uh, I'm going to be doing these as long as I don't get market ban, man. I'm just going to keep doing these uh, league upgrade packs because I'm a psycho. Um, so if you guys want to watch that, man, I. I mean, guys, we've been streaming a ton on Twitch, so just come check it out. I've mentioned it in last, yesterday's video, but this is a week where I'll be streaming like crazy over there. So make sure you guys come ahead, come over there and uh, take a look at it. Tomorrow, I think also, guys, we should get a new objective. And then I guess the last little thing for you guys, I'm not going to be able to do these icons, man. I, I did four. I've just packed now. Like, like, here's the thing. Essien's now at 1.4. I'm going to try to get some of the tokens as we go. But yeah, we're going to have to settle for somebody not that crazy because... I've just packed the player that's worth the most tokens, Vieira. And, like, I'm not doing... Like, I can't... I'm not sitting here and going to do squad battles instead of doing Team of the Year upgrade packs to try to pack blues. That's just not me. So, yeah. We're going to keep it there. Thanks for watching, guys. Quick little upload. See you guys soon. Peace.